Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be making a start at the very least on my review of The Yellow Knight of Oz by Ruth Plumley Thompson. So this is book number 24 in the Wizard of Oz series, continued after uh, L. Frank Baum's death. As usual, I'm going to read you the blurb, I'm going to go through and check out my tabs, and then I'll share my overall thoughts and rating at the end. So, Dane reads... The Yellow Knight of Oz, in which Sir Hocus of Pokes sets off on a quest and discovers instead one of the greatest feats of enchantment in Oz history. Two entire kingdoms transformed and hidden away for 500 years by the evil Sultan of Samandra. When a New York lad named Speedy rides a wayward rocket ship to Oz, he arrives just in time to aid Sir Hocus and his noble steed, the comfortable camel, and to rescue Princess Mary Golden from her enchanted life. So as you can tell from that, we've got a lot of the uh, Oz staples, you know. You know, we've got the revisiting old characters, we've got somebody arriving at Oz in a weird way, which seems to happen a lot. So Sir Hocus, he goes, In my day, maidens remain quietly at home, doing household tasks, embroidering, watching from towers and so on. And then Betsy Bobbins goes, how stuffy, how old fashioned. And he has the great expression, odds fish and funnels. And we get here, indeed, when I start talking about the celebrities at Ozma's court, I never do know when to stop. To describe them all would take about three days, and as you probably have not that long to listen, and know most of them well as I do, I'll not try, but she'll get back to Sir Hocus of Pokes in his quest. And that just bugs me because it directly addresses the reader, which I was always taught, taught you're never supposed to do. We get this great little exchange. By the way, what is your name? You see in me a knight bound upon a curious quest, you see, that will do, you see. So there are some great little japes and little bits of puns and humour and stuff in this, as you kind of expect from these books. Uh, there's a sentence missing a quotation mark at the start of someone's speech. And so it's not until page 60 that Speedy shows up, the kid who goes there, goes to Oz on a rocket ship. And I just thought this bit of dialogue just cracked me up. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think I've been enchanted. I seem to have been a funny suckle vine and my head's still full of twits and twitters. Even as a funny suckle vine, I still could be gay. I bet I'm sure you could do. We get some more great little curses. Son of a scorpion, cousin to a cougar, an uncle of a goat. Oh, and then Speedy has this great line, very sexist. He goes, why, you couldn't have done any better if you'd been a boy. And then again we get, Speedy was about to explain that she, being a girl, could not possibly do all the exciting and adventurous things that he, as a boy, could do. But she seemed so pleased and happy that he decided to let the matter rest for a while. It's kind of weird reading this stuff. I know it's an old book, but it was, was written by a woman. Uh, Queen gazes searchingly, which bothers me. I hate, like, unnecessary adverbs. And then this final little punt I want to sh uh, share here. Why, it's Ozma, quavered the comfortable camel. Who's Ma? queried Peter Pun. Why, she's a mere child and no Ma at all. So yeah, storyline-wise, I mean it's bonkers. None of it makes any sense. You've got a freaking spaceship that goes straight into the ground and rather than just exploding when it hits the ground, it goes all the way through to the center of the Earth and finds Oz there. So there's a lot of weird bits, a lot of like contradictions, which happens in these books. Um, a lot of unnecessary adverbs, a lot of casual uh, sexism, but it's fun enough if you can get past all of that. Um, lots of puns. Um, it hasn't put me off reading the Oz books. I mean, by this point, I just want to keep going and get to the end, you know? Um, I gave The Yellow Knight of Oz by Ruth Plumley Thompson uh, a generous 3.5 out of 5. So there we have it, that's what I made of The Yellow Knight of Oz by uh, Ruth Plumley Thompson. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of this book if you read it. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more, and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.